Hi everyone, Amy here with Never Grow Up Vacations and now it's time to come fly with Amy. So today's video is going to be a couple different parts. So the first part is I'm going to be touring you around the Hilton Buena Vista Palace over by Disney Springs. So for those of you who are unknowing of the Disney area and the landscape, so you have what we consider on-site Disney hotels, that'll be your Pop Century, Caribbean Beach, Coronado Springs, Contemporary, all of that bubble, right? But there's an additional bubble outside of the on-site properties that we consider to be the Disney Springs area. Right when you're at Disney Springs, if you just head down the street, um, there's a whole strip of hotels known as the Disney Springs Areas Hotels. This includes the Hilton Buena Vista Palace, which I'm staying at this weekend. That includes the Hilton Lake Buena Vista. That includes the Double Tree, the Bee Resort, um, Wyndham Garden. There's a couple other ones over there that I didn't list and some newer ones going up. So the benefit to this area is that sometimes you can get cheaper rooms, sometimes. Um, you can also still get some of the same perks as on-site hotel guests. So for example, tomorrow I'm getting early park entry because it is listed as a benefit of my hotel on the list. Not every hotel in the Orlando area has that perk. Um, and then in my case, I'm doing a little bit of a staycation and then I'm doing a Disney Springs concentrated night. So I can walk to Disney Springs. Like how awesome is that? I can um, enjoy some cocktails and not have to worry about Ubering or driving. I can just walk on back to my hotel because it is right on the corner. So um, it, this first part of this video is I'm going to show you that resort, show you my room, and then I'm gonna tack on a little surprise to this video. So I have not told anybody about this because I was working hard to get this completed, but on Sunday, this coming Sunday, which will be May 8th, Mother's Day, um, I'm going to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind on my pass holder preview. So a quick story as to what transpired and why I didn't announce this previously. So as most of you know, those of you who are pass holders and or Disney Vacation Club members, we were given notice about two and a half weeks ago that you can get your Cosmic Rewind um, preview. And they dropped the notice at like 9 a.m. on a Wednesday. I was at work along with many other Americans. And by the time I saw the email, which was about 45 minutes later, all the slots were gone. So obviously I was a little bit perturbed because I was at work just like the rest of the country. So I feel like myself and a lot of the other people did not get the same benefit um, because we didn't know to look. We didn't know when it was gonna happen. We just knew it was coming sometime soon. So I contacted the pass holder assistance line, which if you are a Disney annual pass holder, this is a dedicated line to for youth for pass holders. And it's the nicest benefit because sometimes the waits are shorter and then you get priority service. So through that line, um, they did issue me a preview, which is very nice of them just for myself. And I'm going on Sunday. So I'm so excited to get to ride it. And I'm going to show you on the end of this video, I'm going to show you just kind of where it is and then give my final reviews on that. So let's enjoy a weekend staycation at the Hilton Lake Buena Vista Palace over by Disney Springs. All right. So I'm all checked in here at the Hilton Buena Vista Palace and I'm excited to be here. I forgot how much I missed this hotel until I got here today. Uh, the last time I stayed here was during COVID and things were a little bit sad back then, but it is very lively again here. So I'm gonna show you my room. I'm in a king bed room. Um, the rooms here are super large and that's one of my favorite things about this is if you end up getting two beds, you still have a pull out in most cases. You have a balcony, you have a huge bathroom, you have a lift. I don't call it living room, it's like a split bedroom, living room area, but in it, I'll show you in a second just how large this room is. Much larger than your traditional rooms. Um, you can also select your different view types. So my view is just considered a resort view, which in my case, it's a great view because I love looking at the lake and nature. So it's quiet, it should be real nice. So let me show you this room. 
coming into the door, I am located on the sixth floor. You have a nice foyer, which right now is where I'm storing my luggage. I'm gonna turn you around so you can get a full view of this room and then I'll kind of go through the nuts and bolts. Let me zoom you out. A little bit better of a view there. So just to start going through, so you have your TV, you do have plenty of drawer space if you're staying with a family. Um, it looks like three ample deep drawers here. Inside here, you do have your safe and you do have your fridge, which is always nice, stay there. Um, I do wanna show off some of the perks of this. So I am a Hilton Diamond member. So because of that, I do get food and beverage credit each day, which $15 actually goes a fairly long way like that'll cover me for breakfast so that's really nice um, and then here you have your transportation schedule so there is bus transportation but as you can see it's only every hour so just note that things are a little bit different sorry every hour from this time to this time so just note that this is not as extensive as disney transportation but still pretty extensive as long as you plan accordingly um nice option for you if you want to save some money. Also, because this is a Disney Springs hotel, you do get this cute little coupon book. So you can use it when you walk over to Springs tonight or you're during your stay. So that's that. You do also have, which I think is a unique feature, a DVD player. So as part of the amenities here, you can actually rent DVDs downstairs for free. It comes with the cost of your resort fee and you can watch a movie up here. You have your desk area. You have a coffee machine which that's a pretty standard Hilton spec you do have your sofa here as well as like an ottoman type thing I'm 95% sure yes it's a pullout so you do have a pullout so really this can comfortably sleep four people um, obviously your king size bed here I like the ottoman because you can throw your luggage on there if you'd like each bedside has a little bit of storage under there then you have two outlets and a USB plus that guy. So plenty of outlets, no issue with that. Before I go to the bathroom, I'm gonna show you the balcony. Every room has a balcony, which I actually like that a lot about this hotel. I love at nighttime coming out on the balcony. So this is the view, beautiful, right? So this hotel right here used to be the Best Western. It has closed and it's been closed through COVID. And as you can see, it's being renovated. You can see the crane. So that is going to be a Drury Hotel, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm 90% sure that's what that's going to be. Um, you have B Resort right there. You have Holiday Inn right there. You have the Wyndham Garden here. And then right there is the um, Hilton, the other Hilton. It's the Hilton lake buena vista this is the lake buena vista palace easily confusable so right over here is the pool area which i'm going to give you a tour of here a little bit later on because i am going to go to the pool and then i love this lake view because you'll never know what you might see out here i would bet some money there's some gators out here somewhere so um welcome to florida where there's always alligators so keep your eyes peeled um and i sure will tonight so and this balcony i forgot to note this two nice seating chairs and a little end table. Very nice. Okay, we're back in the room. So I do want to mention this side does not have an outlet. So if you're sleeping on this side, womp womp. <laughs> um, so here is your bathroom area. I like it because it's separate from the actual commode area, but a little bit of storage up here for just some little odds and ends. You have your Crabtree and Evelyn products. Good lighting. Some additional storage down here. Nice big vanity, I think that's nice. You do have a closet, actually a pretty good sized closet right here with a luggage stand. And there's your additional bedding for your pullout if you'd prefer. And then in here, I sorry, the fan's going. Um, this is your shower, not a bathtub, just a shower. Pretty standard, but super nice, right? So um, as I had mentioned, it's just a couple minute walk over to Disney Springs. Um, I will time it tonight. If I remember correctly, I would say it's about a eight minute walk and it drops you off over by, um, what's it called? The sandwich, Earl of Sandwich, there we go. Um, so there we have it. I'll show you 
um, more parts about this hotel as I continue my stay this weekend. So I wanted to show off a little bit of the public areas here at the hotel. So this is the lobby bar. It's super nice. It has a really nice outdoor patio. My previous days I have had a drink here and it's, you know, hotel pricing, so a little bit expensive. Um, but it's all really pretty in here and the lobby is huge. And I love those little lights. They're really cool at night. So this is where you check in. You'll see the line forming there for check-in. Check-in is pretty standard, three o'clock um, for check-in, 11 o'clock for check-out. Um, I got here early today. They actually had a room ready for me. Um, so I got into my room about 1.30 this afternoon, which was real nice. Um, they do also have bell services and concierge. Um, when you pull up, you can pull up into this um, portico chair in the front um, and then unload your bags and then go park. Um, since I have stayed here before, I was pretty familiar with the parking, so I just went ahead and parked my car and brought my bags in. But if you're coming with a lot of stuff, the portico share is for you. Alright, so now I'm down on the lower level. This, I guess, is considered floor one. The lobby is on floor three. So Letter Press um, is a restaurant. It looks like it's still closed, which is super sad. It looks like it might only be open during maybe peak periods. I know this was not open when I was here the last time, so I'm kind of surprised it's still not open. Um, so more to come on when that might be opening. Yeah, th that is the traditional hours of operation. So um, not sure why it's not open. Maybe it's just not busy enough. Um, so I do love some of the art in this hotel. It's actually really quirky and really fun. Like you'll see these little like nooks and crannies with all this pattern stuff. And then I, I love seeing, like a giant bunny, like, yes, please. Um, so one of my favorite things is obviously that food and beverage credit for me as a diamond member getting $30 per day for the two of us is super nice. This is the Citrus 28. It's considered a grab and go, but I would consider it more of like a quick service dining location. So um, the last time we stayed here, this is actually a really nice option. So you'll see they do have breakfast sandwiches, hot sandwiches. This soup station is new. It was not here the previous time we stayed here. So that's been really nice. Um, a nice add, definitely a nice quick little convenience area. Um, in the morning, you can grab coffee there. Not for free, you gotta pay for it, but it's a nice little amenity that is just right down here. They do sell alcohol, which sometimes it's cheaper to come here than it is to the bar, so I think that's really nice. Um, every time I've come here, it's always merchandised super well, and there's always so many options. It's definitely a great spot for the morning for breakfast, and we do normally take, partake in this. So you can see for the afternoon, just some sandwiches. Um, so all in all, every experience we've had here has been really positive. And then this is a little seating area. We personally like to take it up to our balcony and enjoy that. So, um, you know, that's really nice, but a nice little area. Um, and then you can also go outside to dine as well. Um, as I had mentioned before, there's bus transportation and I'm headed out there in just a second, but fun arcade. I may or may not have played one of these crane games after a night of imbibing, as I say, imbibing, drinking, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I may or may not have played one of those crane games and I may or may not have lost. So fun fact about Amy, as I like to play the crane game. So um, one of the cute aspects of this hotel is there's a lot of little seating areas. I know it's a little bit bright out today. Hopefully y'all can see this. Um, so really nice little area, cute little fountain. It's a little bit toasty out. Welcome to summertime in Florida. So, you know, that is what it is. There is also a gym over here. There's people in there, so I'm not gonna actually go in it. But you can see there's a gym in there. I will not be in the gym on vacation, thank you. But if you're looking to go to the gym, that is for you. So this is still coming off a of one. So you're gonna go down right past the grab and go market. And then there are your buses. That's what I was coming out to show you is this is exactly where the buses come out. These buses, I believe, are shared with some of the other Disney Springs hotels. So just check those times um, on the guides that are listed in your room, um, and you can take that back and forth to the parks. So I just entered into the pool area. This is commonly used for event space, but if you have some little kiddos who are looking to run around, that would be a great spot. Also back there where you see the checkered bathrooms. 
So I'm about to go get a chair and I will continue to show you around. So I've been to this pool area before, so this is not something new to me. This pool, I would rate a 10 out of 10. There's a lazy river that you'll commonly find me just floating in. Um, so this is the pool bar slash pool grill, if you will. This is open during the day and then into the evening. Um, drinks, of course, your grill, burger, poolside um, delights. Um, so this is the pool area. I'll try to show you a little bit more when there's not so many people in it, um, but this is the main pool area. There is a kitty splash pad. And then as I mentioned, there is the um, Lazy River. There are also, I wanna say three or four hot tubs. I can't remember the exact count, um, but plenty of chairs. I mean, I'm out here pretty late in the afternoon and it's pretty, it, I mean, it's busy, but it's not like I can't find a chair. There are also cabanas, which are really nice. So kind of keep that in mind. If you are looking to rent a cabana, I'm sure you can just talk to guest services about that. I have not done that personally, um, but know it's an option to you. Oh, and there's a hot tub right there. I did want to show off the lazy river here. This is it. It just goes around in a little bit of a circle. Like it goes around that area a little bit more. Um, but it's actually super nice. It's usually nice weather, nice water temperature, little spray thing, so you can get a little bit more wet if you would like to. Um, but I like Lazy River. I wanted to show off just a little bit more of the splash pad. It actually connects to the Lazy River where you can enter right over there and get your um, tubes. So that's a really nice option for your kiddos. You can just kind of hang out and do your thing. Um, I did also want to show, it's kind of hard to see right here, but this is actually a separate shorter building. Um, that's still a part of the hotel. So just note, if you're not in the main building, you might end up getting a room that's in that opposite building that I just showed. I do not know what that building is called. So if I do find that out, I will be sure to let y'all know. All right, so I'm walking over to Disney Springs. Um, the pathway over to Springs is super nice. It's super directional. You'll keep getting little signs that say Disney Springs this way. And you just follow this covered path. So if it's raining, you're not out of luck. I did want to elaborate. I could not remember what that other building was called. It is called the Island Building. So know that there's the main tower, which is connected to the lobby. And then there's the Island Building, which is that short building I showed you right there. Um, but this walk over to Springs, super quick, super easy, very convenient when you're enjoying a night out at Springs. And like I said, you never know what kind of wildlife you're gonna see. I'm positive there are alligators at some point somewhere. I'm sure turtles if not too, so always keep an eye out. All right, so part two of this video is um, a little bit of Epcot. I'm not gonna show too, too much because I'm just, I wanna kind of just enjoy the day, but I'm here today to preview Guardians of the Galaxy for a pass holder preview, and I'm so, so excited for it. So as of today's recording, which today is May 8th, so we found out that May 27th, the ride opens. That's two weeks from today, give or take. Um, we found out that there is going to be a virtual queue starting out. So if you do have a park reservation for Epcot and a valid park admission that morning, you're going to want to be up on the app at by seven because at seven, it's going to drop. You're going to have to try to get your virtual queue and y'all, they're going to go like two seconds, barely two seconds. So um, that's always um, an interesting experience to do the virtual queue because there's a limited number. Um, if you book with a travel agent like myself, I will try to get one for you. And I do have experience in getting them. Knock on wood, I've always been successful. Never know, but knock on wood, been successful. In addition to the virtual queue, they announced that they are gonna do lightning lane, single attraction lightning lane. And I believe they priced that at $15 per person, which I'll let you know after today if I think it's worth it. I think it's going to be worth it. And to be frank, I will probably be back in the next two weeks after opening um, and ride it again. So looking forward to that. And yeah, let's go um, have a great day and then preview Guardians. All right, just finished riding Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So I am a no spoiler channel. So I will not insert any clips of the queue or anything um, into this episode because I just don't think it's right. Like just go enjoy it because what I can show you on film is nothing at all like what you're gonna experience in real life. The queue itself, I will say, is amazing. 
very immersive, very interactive, uh, almost like a museum. So it's definitely, if you're stuck in a line, uh, lots to look at, lots to experience. The ride itself, you don't know what song you're going to get. So I ended up getting I Ran, which was so fun. And I think every song is amazing. So it'll be cool to go back and do it again with hopefully a different song. So a couple things about the ride. So it's so smooth. Like it blew my mind just how smooth it was. And then also I get motion sick. So I was a little bit nervous going into this. I did take Bo9 this morning just to be on the safe side but the launches, including the backward portions, were just so smooth. Me having motion sick issues had zero issues at all. I think even without the Bonine, I would have been more than good. It's not, it's exciting, it's fun. It launches you in a couple different points, a couple different drops, but never did I feel dizzy, off balance. Um, I usually have an issue with like screens and VR type stuff. Although there are screens in this, they were done really well and you were put at good angles. So I would say all in all, amazing ride. I'm so sad I can only go on it once. So I will be back at Epcot pretty soon actually to um, try to get another um, Cosmic Rewind ride because y'all need to go check it out. It's really amazing. So hope you found this video helpful between the, um, Lake Buena, um, the Hilton, Lake Buena Vista Palace tour and content. And then I hope you found just a couple tips and tricks about Cosmic Rewind. I hope you found that part helpful as well. And you know, if you're looking to book your next vacation, whether it be for Disney World, Disneyland, or anywhere in the world, my contact information is in the details listed in the description. If you liked this video, hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy travels. Bye.